Hello everyone, this is Amrit Pal Singh. Welcome to the next video. Guys, in this video, I'm going to discuss how we can implement the Nay Bayes algorithm in RStudio. In my previous two videos, I've explained what is Bayes theorem, how, uh, how Nay Bayes algorithm works. In this video, we're going to see the implementation part. So it will be very straightforward process. If you already have watched my previous videos of this R, uh, this uh, playlist in which I've explained how we can implement machine learning algorithms in it. So you will be finding it quite easy, quite uh, similar to that. Let's get started. First of all, uh, we're going to load the data set. I'm going to load, load the data set in the, uh, some variable name. Okay, let's suppose it is Qt equal to read.csv. So data set uh, which I'm going to use, it will be the same data set which I used in my previous videos, the social network ads. Okay, so file equal to, it's in my D drive, social network ads dot csv and then header equal to true this is what we require okay you can check out the data set this is what i have loaded it's a social network data set in which we have some uh, columns available user id gender age estimated salary purchased so uh, we just require for this uh, a given uh, uh, practical we just require only last three columns so we just have to get rid of the first two columns so how we can do that we can do that with the help of subsetting so qt if you if you have watched my previous video you'll be finding that these steps are common in all the videos so if you haven't watched the previous one please uh, i just want you to watch the previous videos as well so we just have get rid of the first two columns we just require uh, we just got the th last three columns for which is necessary for this um, for this uh, video all right we got it. Afterwards, let's load the important uh, libraries for this practical. We're going to use the two libraries. One is uh, CA tools. Other is we require the uh, E1071. E1071. This is for classification. All right, loaded. Afterwards, what we need to do is we need to just convert the uh, target feature as factor. So in our case, we are having two independent variables, age and salary, and we have two. Uh, we have one dependent variable, which is the uh, purchase. So we this is the target feature also. So we need to convert it into a factor. So how we can do that? So Qt dollar purchased equal to factor factor. Then again Qt dollar purchased okay afterwards levels it's gonna have two levels zero and one done afterwards what to do we need to split the data set into training and set and testing set for that we can set a seed value so as my other videos i'm just setting it the, into the same value one two three so let's split the data into two uh, parts training and testing so we're gonna use sample dot split and sample dot split uh, we have to first specify the purchased okay and then we can specify the split ratio so in this case s is capital and r is capital split ratio and we're gonna have the similar ratio that i used in previous video 75 percent means 75 percent of our data set data will go to the training and 30 uh, 25 percent will go to the testing part okay so let's now put the data in training set and testing set so training set as my variable equal to subset function we're going to use. So in that case, uh, we're going to use subset. Then we are having data set, which is Qt. And after this, we have to use a split equivalent to true. Okay, done. And the same thing we have to do for testing set as well. Testing underscore set equal to subset and Qt. Then split equivalent to false. So we got training set, testing set ready. We can check out again, training set. And in the same way, we can check testing set as well. Testing set, we got it, all right. Afterwards, what to do? Uh, as uh, because age and uh, salary are my independent variables, I want these two variables on a same scale. We have to do the scaling part. Let's do the feature scaling. So we have to get rid of the third column because third column we're gonna predict. The purchase means based upon the age and salary, we're going to predict that whether a person will purchase a product or not. So we don't want this into our scaling. So we just have to get rid of that. Training set equal to scale function. And we're going to just pass it again. Training uh, set and which is minus three. All right. 
the same thing we have to do for testing set as well testing underscore set minus 3 okay equal to scale and then same thing testing set and which is minus 3 okay you can also check now what what we got in it you can see now uh, the salary and age are on same levels okay same scale all right we are done afterwards what to do let's now uh, fit up the let's fit the name base to the training set how we can do that for this uh, let's define the classifier uh, nave base classifier nbc is my variable name equal to nave base this is a function nave base under e1071 in which we're going to just use two uh, arguments which is uh, necessary for this video i'm going to use x x will be representing what it will be representing my independent variable and y will be representing what it will be my dependent variables that's it so x equal to training set training underscore set and minus 3 means I only be including first two columns which are my independent variables age and salary it will be my in x okay x equal to training set minus 3 and in y what we will be having we will be having the dependent variables y equal to training set dollar purchased that's it we are done so we got nbc done okay this classifier we have to put in the predict function to predict the test set results okay so now uh, nb predict okay my variable name equal to we're gonna use predict function predict function will take the first argument as the classifier in our case it is nbc as my classifier comma we have to use new data as argument new data equivalent to what we have to pass here the test set testing set and it is minus 3 okay done now let's see uh, what we got in it nb predict we got this answer okay this vector we got okay and let's check out our testing set and let's see uh, how we performed in it okay so these are the data we got in testing set this is what we got so uh, you can see zeros and ones here and you have to just check out where we are uh, classifying where we are misclassifying all right let's suppose we are having first how many zeros are there one two three four five six seven means we are having total uh, here we are having one two three four five it means some of them are misclassifying so it is showing that these are the zeros and zeros and ones right these are the zeros ones we got in testing set this is what we have predicted it means some of the uh, purchase thing we have uh, predicted right some of them we are it is we, it is we have misclassified let's see how how many we have uh, properly classified how many we are have misclassified this we can do with the help of confusion matrix let's make the confusion matrix at the last step of this video so let's do it uh, nave base okay confusion matrix this is my variable name equivalent to table function we're gonna use table inside the table we have to use testing set testing set and we just have to use the third column as my because third is what we have to predict third column comma uh, nb predict okay this is what we got and let's see what the answer we got nb confusion matrix and you can see now out of this 100 that we have this in this data set in this testing we, in which we have just done 84 correct and 14 are misclassified okay out of which you can see 00, 0 means 57 all classified 11 one, one, all classified but this 77 seven, which you can see in diagonal these are misclassified it means out of 100 we got 84 properly classified uh, uh, sorry 86 pro pro properly classified and 14 are misclassified right so i hope you must have understood from this video that how we can implement the nave based algorithm in r studio thanks for watching guys see you next video